Well, we've been asking a range of questions, and indeed, actually, anybody who wants to give us comments can do so. So what we've tried to do is to uh, organise ourselves in a way that people can talk to us face-to-face -face when we're visiting different parts of the country. We start our visits programme on Monday in Manchester. Contact us through uh, by email or indeed write to us and also monitor and keep up to date with what we're doing through our website. And when you, I mean, on the face of it, so you go and talk to someone, so say, I don't know, a shopkeeper will come and tell you their experiences. I mean, we kind of know what a lot of people's experiences were. I'm not quite sure what, what you then take, take on from there. So someone might say, well, my shop was, uh, was looted, I had stuff taken, and that was my experience. How does that help you investigate the, the causes and what really lay behind what happened? Well, our task actually as a panel is to look not only at the causes and try to understand the motivations of the rioters as well as actually local circumstances that may well have had an impact, but also to look at what we can do for the future and what we can learn from this so that if anything ever happens like this again, that we can respond better. So um, earlier this week I was in Ealing talking to some shopkeepers who'd suffered uh, uh, greatly as a result of the riots and actually listening to how they uh, was supported by the local council, how they worked uh, and tried to uh, get some compensation through their insurance company and so on. It's those kinds of issues I think we can pick up on. Um, you know, you, you say, well, you're a good person to speak to because you speak to young people and perhaps those young people who took part. But there will be people watching who think, what else happened other than, you know, young people decided to go and take advantage of unprotected shops? You know, obviously, that, that's exactly what happened. So the government actually needs to speak to the young people. I don't see the point of going around the whole country asking everybody's opinion. This is not everybody's opinion. You keep on asking about the kids. Ask the kids. You don't ask, you know, a mechanic to, like, like bake a cake. But what, what, what is one of those kids going to say, do you think? Uh, what would they say to you? Oh, they've told me, like, they, they've said many things. And that, the, the easiest one was, why did you do it? Because yeah. they said, because they could. Because nobody cared. You know, and that was as simple as it came, just because they could, knowing that the government doesn't acknowledge them at any point. Like, we've had four years of gang, gang riots and killings, so forth, and, and the government's totally ignored it. So, couple that with inflation, unemployment, taking away youth service and these things, the government cannot tell me that it wasn't a red flag. Is that the notion of having nothing to lose? Is that where, you know, they, 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 that thinking is, I have nothing to lose. What Why do they not? have? What do, what do they have? Where do they play? Where do they go? What do they do? After leave school at 16, what do you do? You see, the thing is, isn't it, that, I mean, this is interesting, uh, Daryl, because at the end of this process, if, if this is, uh, uh, you know, Daryl's pretty close to, to this notion, yeah. if the conclusion of all this is there's a whole bunch of people who feel they've got nothing to lose, then you spend a lot of money finding something out that probably <laughs> someone could have told you right here and now. Right. Uh, yeah, I think we are being a little bit premature here, aren't we? What, I, I think it's really important that myself and other panel members don't uh, try to retrofit kind of particular views and theories on, on why things happen. Yes, we will talk to young people, uh, but let's also remember that the, so far, anyway, the vast majority of people who have been charged are 18 and over. Uh, and uh, so we want to talk to young people, we want to talk to uh, individuals like Darrell who work with young people um, and we want to talk to victims and communities in the areas affected but also actually try to learn from those areas where nothing happened and um, uh, you know, local organisations and people like Darrell actually doing that kind of work have got good reasons to explain why they took action that prevented uh, yeah. riots and disturbances.